Shalom, welcome back. Today we're going to be making some smoked lamb leg. So the first thing that you do need is lamb. So I have right here the lamb leg that is butterflied and also seasoned. I'm going to go ahead and wash this really quick, give it a good clean. I also have some butternut squash that I got from my garden. And what we're going to do is we're going to take off the top layer because the top layer is really, really rough and we're not going to be using it in this dish, but we are going to be using the inside of the butter squash. So as you can see, I'm just cutting off the sides of it and then also cutting it down to size. And you're gonna see what I do with it next. And while we're waiting for the next step, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Also click that notification button because you don't wanna miss an upcoming recipe. Now, back to the video. So as you can see, I'm pretty much almost done cutting off the sides. And now I'm just going to cut it down sizes because I am going to be layering this. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. Now butternut squash has seeds. Make sure that you remove the seeds from the inside as I'm showing you right here. And make sure that you give it a good rinse as well too. So now the next step, let's go ahead and put this at the bottom of the pan. What this is going to do is be our base. This is going to be our base. So from here, keep watching. Now that we have our butternut squash laid and also our base down, what we're going to do now is mainly cut up our seasonings that we're going to be adding. So here I have approximately about three green to four green onions. This is completely optional but I would advise you to use it because it does bring out the flavor in the lamb. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and go on to our next step, which is a half of an onion. This is a yellow onion and all I'm doing is cutting it up into bite sizes. And now I'm going to also add some more fresh ingredients, which was rosemary, sage, and also tarragon. Now, as you can see, I went ahead and chopped up a little bit of tarragon. Be careful when you're using tarragon because it does have a very distinctful taste like licorice almost. So here we have it, our lamb washed and cleaned and now I'm going to be cutting it down to bite sizes because what we want to do is you're gonna have to keep watching to see the next step but as you can see I'm still continuously cutting it down to bite sizes due to the fact that we want this to be the dressing on top of our butter squash so now that we've cleaned our area, we're going to bring back our butter squash and we're going to add the lamb on top. Once all of our lamb has been laid, let's now start to add those fresh seasonings. So here I got that onion. Here I have the green onions. And I'm going to add the herbs that you see me show earlier in the video. And now I'm also going to add a little bit of jalapenos. This is optional. You don't have to use it because not everybody likes it a little spicy, but I do. And I'm also gonna add about one cup and a half of water. 
Now I'm going to come in with a little bit of minced garlic. I love garlic, so this right here, trust me, I used about a good four tablespoons. And now I'm just going to bring it and combine it together. So all of those fresh herbs and seasonings mince well together before I start my seasoning process. So now let's get to the seasoning. First thing I'm gonna come in with is mesquite liquid smoke. Anytime when you're smoking, you always wanna use liquid smoke. The first seasoning I'm choosing is onion powder. Usually I don't measure, but if I had to measure by eye, this will be approximately about two tablespoons. I'm now gonna go in with a little bit of Slap Your Mama, which is Cajun seasoning. And now I'm gonna go in with some complete seasoning. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of garlic powder. And I'm gonna to top it off with a little bit of cayenne pepper. I'm also gonna add some ground sage. Now that all my season selections are added onto the meat, I'm just going to give it a quick massage just to pretty much combine all of those seasonings into the lamb and butter squash. So now I'm gonna bring this back really quick because the one thing that you want to do is you also want to add just a drizzle of olive oil onto this dish before we put it in the smoker. So as you can see right here, I'm drizzling just a little bit of olive oil on this lamb just to give it more of a texture and a great taste. And with that, we're gonna take it over to the smoker and you're gonna cook this lamb on approximately about 250 degrees for three hours. I also use hickory chips to smoke my meat. And after you're done, you have a delicious smoked lamb leg. Just look at this. This looks absolutely amazing and it tastes amazing. So with that, you guys, stay strong, stay healthy, stay in the spirit. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Also drop your request in the comment section as well too. And let me know what dish I can do for you. Other than that, I will see you in the next video. I'm out.